for the uninitiated, which would probably include the person interviewing you, can you give us a little bit of background on what systems thinking and design thinking is? Yeah, for sure. So design, I'll start out with design thinking because my background is as a product designer as well as a design researcher. And so design thinking is really an iterative process that you can use to problem solve and is focused on the people um, for whom you're designing. So some good examples of that are, you know, if you think about any sort of digital product and how as they're designing the digital product, they're constantly doing testing with folks who are going to be the end users of those products. And I'm sure anyone who's interacted with any digital products knows that there are good ones and there are bad ones. Um, and the idea is that you are truly centering their experience, you're learning from them and their context before you even set out on designing for them. And then as you're designing, you kind of like involve them during the process so that um, they're, the folks who are going to be using your products are testing it along the way. And what that allows you to do is it allows you to make changes as you're going through the design process, um, primarily to, you know, save money in the process to make sure you're not designing the wrong thing. Um, and then as you're testing, before you build anything out, particularly with digital products, you're not wasting time and energy actually building a thing that will be difficult to use or won't be used at the end of the day. So you're doing a lot of this work up front and iteratively in order to be able to, um, you know, facilitate that process and to design best for those who will be using products at the end of the day.